So we are back with another tool review video, comparison video, whatever you want to call it. I'm really excited about this one. We are going to compare the Jorgensen, the orange plane that you get at Lowe's, uh, number four. This one only costs you 70 bucks. So we are going to compare it to what some would say the top of the line, a Lie Nielsen. This plane costs you $340. So with a $270 difference, I'm curious to see how they compare. Uh, stick with us. We're going to go through the specs, and then we're going to put them to use and see how they perform. All right, so here are the planes side by side to get a little bit of the specs out of the way. The Jorgensen, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Let's just say the orange one. The orange one comes in at 4 pounds, 1.8 ounces. The Lion Nielsen comes in at 4 pounds, 11.2 ounces. So the Lion Nielsen is heavier. Dimensions. So the orange plane comes in at 10 inches long, 2 and 9 sixteenths wide. The Lion Nielsen is 9 and 5 eighths long by 2 and a half wide. The iron thicknesses. So the, the orange plane comes in at 7 sixty-fourths thick. <laughs> And the Lion Nielsen comes at 1 8 inch thick. So, as you can tell already, this one is a screw cap, I guess is what you call it. And this one is a snap cap or a lever cap. Looking at the irons, look how similar those are. Almost identical. I actually would say they are identical. Yeah, check that out. You can see I still have the oil on this one. I haven't sharpened it up or anything yet. Yeah, so iron-wise, they are very similar. Even how they meet. This is the orange one. This is the Lie Nielsen. Even how they meet up here looks really good. Let me take the chip breaker off. So here's the Orange Plains chip breaker. It does have that piece up front. Look at that. Wow. Look how similar those are. Yeah, that's a lot alike. All right, orange plane, line Nielsen. Now with these right away, what I'm noticing, look at the mouth on the line Nielsen. See how it goes all the way to the wings? This one doesn't. See that piece sticking on the sides? So if you look, that frog has a lot of space on the sides compared to this one that's closer. So that's one thing that I noticed right away. Look at the laterals. They both have the same screws. This pin is a little bit higher. These recesses are a little bit deeper, but it's still, I mean, look at that. And that is very close, very close. Now, with the frog adjustment, this one has the old bedrock round side style, where it has that piece in the back, but it screws here. The Lion Nielsen has the square side bedrock style, where you have those, the pins and then the screws back here. So you don't have to undo the screws up here to adjust the mouth of the frog. That doesn't matter too much to me, because you shouldn't have to adjust the frog that often once you get it set. So, let's go ahead and take these off. Hmm, that's interesting. So that's probably helped keep it aligned. So it doesn't have the indents on the side like a bedrock does, but it has it in the middle. I kind of like that. And that's real interesting. Let me see if they're... Okay. It's a little rough around the edges. Yeah, it's sharp around here, sharp in here. Got some metal slivers in here. But I mean, it's a $70 plane. Here's the bed. Check that out. So it's got the indents on the side. It's got these in the middle. And that's all to help keep it square. I do have a video about how the frog needs to be square. This is interesting to me right here, how it stops. But I don't think... Yeah, they're, they're flush. 
It's just interesting how there looks like there's a line here. Yeah, so that's interesting how that sits in there. Yeah, that's that's pretty good actually. All right, let me get this one. Don't want to lose my pins. So that's the bed styles right there. This one seems to be machined pretty well. These screw holes are pretty sharp. These ones aren't. But yeah, I mean, those are real close. This frog is actually smaller. Well, I knew it was going to be smaller because it sits different, but I didn't expect it to be that much smaller. So that's interesting too. I do want to compare tote size. Solid piece. That's a decent sized tote. It's not the most comfortable, but it actually fits my hand really well. All right, let's check out the line Nielsen. This is a two piece one. The line Nielsen likes to pinch me right here. So I know that. Usually I'm out like that or something. So there is. I don't know if you guys can see that. That might be a better way to show it right there. So the shape is pretty close. This one's probably just a little bit fancier, but this one actually fits my hand better. It doesn't pinch me as much right here. It actually looks like it's indented for your pinky. Because look, it goes up and then indents. Versus this one that I feel cramped. So that's really interesting. Knobs. Mm, this matches the back. I kind of like that because Lyle Nielsen has this one, but the orange plane's got this. Well, there's a washer in there too, but really close. Really close. Here's the bottoms of them too. <clears throat> Almost identical. All right, so. That's what they look like side by side. I'm gonna go ahead to I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble them, sharpen up the irons, see how they perform. Um, I did want to mention also. So on this plane, this is really sharp. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of sandpaper and round this over. Because yeah, that's real sharp in there. Oh, here I can show you sides. Mouth, let me see how flat this is. It did look like it was square, but it's tough to tell because this is digging in, so it's cutting into my square. Can you see that? So once I sand them down, I will go ahead and... I'm actually just gonna sand them down right now. May as well, right? All right, I like that a lot better. Now let me see if I can see square. Yeah, it is square. It's square. That's awesome. I know the line Nielsen square. I'm not even going to check that. Yeah, it's square. Let me check flat. Look at that. I don't know if that's showing up in the video or not, but it is flat. Nice, 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 nice. All right, let's get them sharpened up.
So I got them both sharpened up the same way. Um, <clears throat> I did hit them with the strop, but I forgot to hit record. So, sorry. <laughs> so this one is the Ly Nielsen. Let's get this one back in the plane. All right, so I have a scrap piece of cherry viced up and ready to go. Let's start with the Ly Nielsen because that's my main user and that's the one that I'm used to. All right, and this is without plain wax, no plain wax. So that did pretty well. Taking pretty thick shavings. Let me take it down a little bit. Do some nice thin ones. Buttery, we all knew Ly Nielsen would get the buttery shavings. So, Ly Nielsen does really well, obviously. Let's go for this guy. Let me get it sighted in. Getting some thick shavings. Let's see if I can get them thinner. So I want to take a closer look at these shavings because <clears throat> this is a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And they were both, I mean, comfortable to use. I like this tote better. Not even going to lie, I like this tote better. 
then I do this one because I feel like my hands cramped in this one. So use wise, I mean, I like this one too, that it was actually a little bit lighter. It was a little bit easier to use. Um, I could tell when I first started that the length did make a difference because it wanted to, I don't remember which way it was, but on the end of the board, I could tell that it wasn't as flat um, because this one is just that slightly bit longer, which I mean, length, I don't think is going to make a big difference, but I'm just really surprised at how well this did. And I didn't try to do anything. I mean, I sharpened the iron and I sanded down these sides and that's it. Just because I didn't want to cut myself. Um, there is a lot of play in here. With this, there's a lot more play in the yoke and this screw than there is on the Lie Nielsen. There's play here, but that's... It's just loose. But it's here too. So I'm just... I'm really surprised. <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, I am very surprised by this. Um, going back over it, so the Lie Nielsen is $340 plus tax and shipping. The Jorgensen is $70 plus tax and shipping. Um, Looks-wise, I like the Lie Nielsen better just because I like the black, I like the brass, I like the square sides. Um, part quality, obviously going to go to the Lie Nielsen. I like the cherry tote knob. I like the brass. Additions, the brass frog, uh, less play in things. I mean, the, the yoke and the um, depth adjustment screw has less play than the orange plane. The lateral has less play than the orange plane. The, those are just kind of obvious things. Performance-wise, equal. Once you get the Jorgensen set up, once you get it set up and it's taken really nice shavings, I'd say that they're, they're equal performance-wise. They do the same thing. The Jorgensen is going to take a little bit more time to set up. There is a little bit more play. It's a little bit more finicky. I need it to sand down these corners. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to do if I keep it is sand down this bottom because I can – I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's not completely smooth. I can feel the edges of the wood wanting to follow those grooves. So I would sand that down and make it smooth. Um, I took the iron out. I wanted to see how well it retained an edge, and it was still shaving hairs as if it had not even touched wood. So if you are a new woodworker, you don't got to throw down for Lie Nielsen. This one's just fine. You just got to tune it up a little bit, get it where you want it, um, except that it is going to be a little bit finicky. If you've got the money and you want to throw down for Lie Nielsen, it's going to be easier setup, um, less play in things, but... They both performed equally, in my opinion. Um, on the note about the bottom two, this one was a little bit harder to push because of these lines, but I'm guessing once I smooth it out, it's going to be the same. I didn't use plain wax on either of them, so really didn't expect that. $270 difference, and they're both taking the same kind of shavings. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> Do with that what you will, but that's, that's, I don't know what else to say on it. So the next video I'm going to be doing, um, I have the 60 and a halves on both of them, so the orange plane and the Lie Nielsen, and we're going to compare those and see how they perform. And if it's anything like this one, it's going to be close. <laughs>